the people that were engaged during the, the gospel. We read today the gospel from St. John, chapter 6. And I just want to talk about, it's a beautiful part about our Lord Jesus Christ saying that he's a bread of life. But I just want to talk about one verse, which is verse 40. So because of time, just one verse, and we contemplate on that. Verse 40 says this, And in, this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. And this is the will of him who sent me, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. So here it's saying that, I was just was saying that he who sees the Son and believes in him may have everlasting life. But that's a problem for us. Because we believe we believe in our, Jesus, our Lord Jesus Christ, we believe in Him. But He says, He who sees Him and believes in Him. So we can say that's fine. We're all here today, we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ. But how can we see Him? How can we see Him? You know, we don't live 2,000 years ago. People saw Him and talked to Him like I'm talking today. So we miss that. And even if we live 2,000 years ago, what about the distance? It was a different country altogether thousands of miles away so how can we see Christ and this is a question for us today how can we see Christ quickly we can see Christ in different ways we can see Christ in his word in his word one of the saints St. Peter of Damascus he says you see God hidden the God you see Christ hidden in the gospel and this is the importance of reading the Holy Gospel is you actually you meet Christ while you're reading the Holy Gospel, because this is His Word, this is Him talking. So for us to see Christ, we can see Him through many things. One of the important things is through the Bible. This is the importance of reading the Bible. What other ways we can see our Lord Jesus Christ? Can you want to tell me? What other ways you can see Lord Jesus? I'm waiting for an answer, by the way. Sorry, I'll ask a question. I'm waiting for an answer. <laughs> what other ways we can see our Lord Jesus Christ? I want you to think with me. We pray. Pray, excellent. So when we actually talk into God, we'll see Him. We don't have to see Him with our eyes, physical eyes. We can see Him with our spiritual eyes, with the eyes of our hearts. What does that mean? Many times we feel that we, we're not connected with God. It's because we're not seeking Him. We're not going after seeing our Lord Jesus Christ. We can say it's not fair, you know, we don't live at His time. But God has given us many ways that we can see Him. What's the most important way? He said, God, God, He promised us. He said, I will be with you. I'm not going to leave you. I'll be with you for ages. But then He left us. He went to heaven. So did He break that promise? Did he break the promise? How can he be with us if he's not with us anymore? He ascended to heaven. So how can he be with us? Anyone? Holy Communion? Yes? What else? Excellent. So when he said, when he said, I'm going to go up, but I'm, I'm not going to leave you alone. I'm going to send you the Holy Spirit. So God is with us. God is inside every one of us. We can see God, because He's inside us, guys. If you've been baptized and you have the Holy Maroon oil on you, that means the Holy Spirit dwells in you. God dwells in you. You don't have to look far for God. You look within. Sometimes we think we have to talk to God and look up to heaven because He's in heaven. We don't have to look that far. He's inside us. He's inside us. We associate heaven with God, but He's everywhere. But more importantly, God has deposited his spirit inside us he said i'm going to be with you forever i'm not here with you physically but my spirit is in you but also as evan said we see our lord jesus christ where every time on the altar in his body and blood we see him on the altar every liturgy we pray his presence on the altar in his body and blood 
So we can't complain and say we don't see Jesus anymore. We do see him. But who is aware of what's happening will say, I can see Christ every day if I want. Every day. It doesn't have to be in a miracle it's going to be written in a book or the angel appears and all the saints. No, no, no. We see him every day on the altar. As I said, he has given his Holy Spirit inside each one of us. What other ways we can see Christ? Boy had his hand up. He had his hand up? Yeah. I don't think he can answer the question. <laughs> can you? Excellent. Serving the poor. Our Lord Jesus Christ in Matthew 25, he said what? He said, whatever you do to this member, he said, I was hungry and he fed me. I was thirsty and he gave me drink. I was sick and he visited me. People said, we never did that to you. Where, where, where did you, where were you hungry and we did that? We can't remember. He said, whatever you did to these little ones, you've done it to me personally. So every time you feed the poor, every time you visit the sick, every time you close someone, you help someone in need, you are seeing Christ in that person that you're serving. And this is the beauty and the importance of serving, is when you're serving someone, you're not serving that person, you're serving Christ personally. Because that's what Christ said. Mother Teresa, when she was asked, how can she you know, clean the wounds and the, and the very smelly wounds of people who are sick? The reporter was saying, how can you do that? How can you do that? The reporter could not stand the, the smell and he couldn't stand the looking at the wounds of these people and the disease they have. He actually went out. And after he said, how can you do that? She said simply because each one of them is Christ. When I'm doing that, I'm doing that to Christ physically. Christ physically. Imagine that. This is someone who understands the importance and the power of service. That they're serving Christ personally. So we can see Christ in all these different things. We can see Christ in the Bible, we can see Christ in prayer, we can see Lord Jesus Christ in the Holy Communion, we can see Lord Jesus Christ in us to His Holy Spirit, we can see Lord Jesus Christ in serving others. So, this verse where it says, He who sees Him and believes in Him will have everlasting life, He will believe in Him, excellent. But we need to focus on seeing Him. And be more alert and be aware, and look for the things and opportunities to see our Lord Jesus Christ. When we come and have Holy Communion, it's not just a routine that we do. No, we are seeing our Lord Jesus Christ. Even if we don't see Him as we imagine a human being, but because of our faith, we know that this bread and this wine is His body and blood. And even if we have doubt, like St. Thomas last week, by connecting with Him by prayer and by reading His Word, that doubt will vanish. So we need to understand that we can see our Lord, our Lord Jesus Christ in many ways, every day but we need to have our spiritual eyes open glory be to god forever amen